Welcome to a new video here at the workshop. My name is Ip Malik. Today we will learn some easy ways, how to create a local network Windows 11, and how to share files, folders and drives between computers over a network. First, open File Explorer. Right-click this PC, and select, Properties. Here we see the name of our computer, and if you have a long and obscure name, change it for easy communication with other computers. Click here. Write a new name. I'll call my computer, PC1, it's easy to remember. And click, Next. If you change the name of your PC, the system will ask you to reboot, but for now we can do that later. Now let's open the control panel. Click here. And write control panel. Open, Network, and Internet. Network and Sharing Center. And open the option on the left, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Tab, Network Private. Choose, Turn on Network Discovery. Turn on File and Printer Sharing. Now choose, All Networks. Turn on Sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders and turn off password protected sharing. Save changes. Close all windows and restart your PC. On the second computer I have Windows 10, and here the steps will be slightly different. I open the Explorer. Then, this PC. Right-click on an empty field, and select, Properties. In this window, click on the left, Advanced System Settings. Click Computer Name. To change the PC name, I click, Edit. I enter a new name. PC2. I leave the name of the working group unchanged and click, OK. For the changes to take effect, you need to restart the PC, I click, OK, but I'll restart the PC a little later. Now let's open the control panel. Click, here, and write, Control Panel. Open, Network, and Internet. Network and Sharing Center. And open the option on the left, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Tab, Network Private. Choose, Turn on Network Discovery. Turn on File and Printer Sharing. Now choose, All Networks. Turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. And turn off password protected sharing. Save changes. Close all windows. And restart your PC. Let's go back to PC1. Now we need to share the folder. For this I will create a folder on the desktop. And name it Files. You can create a folder in any other place and name it any other name. Now right click on this folder, select, Properties. Sharing. Share. Choose. Everyone. Add. Here you need to choose, Reading and Writing. Share. Click, Done, and the folder is shared. Open the tab, Advanced Settings. Check the box here. 
you can set the number of concurrent users. Click Permissions and check the box there as you need, you can allow or deny. Apply. OK. And you can also go to the tab, Security, click Edit, and also change the settings as you need. Apply. OK. Now move the files you want to share to this folder. For example, I will transfer the video to this folder. Do the same on the second PC. The only thing is, I named the folder, Share, and moved the photo into it. Now right-click on this folder, select, Properties, Sharing, Share, Choose, Everyone. Add. Here you need to choose, reading and writing. Share. Click, done, and the folder is shared. Now back to PC1. Right click on the menu, start. Run. Enter two backslashes and the name of another computer, PC2. Enter. My computer scanned the environment and found a folder on PC2. Here we see its location, network, PC2. I open this folder, and we see in it a photo that I moved there earlier. Now we can put something else in this folder, create a document inside it and in this way we will exchange files. I open Explorer, click, Network. We see that the computer has found another device on the network but the name of the second computer is still not here. It may appear later because computer names may disappear and then appear in this list, and to avoid these problems, it is better to do the following. Right-click on an empty spot on your desktop or in a folder and select Create Shortcut. Put two backslashes and write the name of another computer, I will write PC2. Next. Ready. We click on the new shortcut, and here we see the folder of another computer, and if we open it, we will see the files of another computer on the local network. Now on the second computer, open Explorer, click Network. PC1 is not detected again, and here you can do the following, remove the word at the top, Network, enter two backslashes. Then the name of the first computer, PC1. Update. Now we see the shared folder of PC1, in which the video is located. Let's create a shortcut for this folder. Yes, and here the shortcut works without problems too. Now don't forget to leave your comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would also like to thank you for watching my video. Good luck!